Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Well, we're back on the 1950 Chevy truck here, the five window, and today we're going to do some masking and then uh, hopefully we're going to be able to spray some black, uh, some black base coat and then get some clear shot on the interior. So I've already got a head start on uh, some of the masking. So let me bring you around here and show you what I've done so far and what I have left to do. Okay, let's check this out. Now, the other day, I went ahead and shot some semi-gloss black uh, on the floor and the inside of the firewall there, and then also along here. And I also shot the, uh, the kill mat and the bracing and everything back behind here. Now, it's not recommended. I checked the website, but uh, I scuffed that kill, uh, kill mat really nicely with a scotch Bright pad and sprayed uh, just one good wet coat on there so it's not super thick, so it shouldn't peel off or have any problems. That way, when you look behind the seat or if you see behind the seat, it's nice and everything's black. So I, uh, I got that shot and then I went ahead and masked to kind of cover that up. And mostly that is to keep any dirt from blowing out from behind there. So you can see up here where the uh, dome light goes, I've got some paper back in there. And then also up here, I've sealed that lip to the kill mat because there is some old crappy insulation back up in there and it will blow, you know, a chunk of that's going to blow out when I'm spraying. So I want to seal that up really nice. And then I, I masked around the door jam there and over here, you guys know what that's called, but I forget what that rubber piece that goes all the way around there. Um, it kind of covers everything up where the headliner is and then all the way down to the eight pillar here. Um, I'm masking to that around the corner. So that'll be black then the jam will be blue. So you see it, the edge of it right here. So that this will be black and then it'll be blue from here on out. So I'm going ahead and mask that right there. I got some plastic down protecting the floorboard and the inner of the firewall. And I'm masking some of these lower holes on the, the dash itself so nothing blows out. The bigger holes, it'll be fine, but the smaller ones, I don't want anything blowing out of there. And so that's about it. And of course, I got to do all the windows. So I got the three back here. Uh, to get done and then I'll get that. I don't want any of the overspray to get on the freshly sanded uh, paint or primer, excuse me, on the outside. So let me jump in here real quick, go super speed and get some of this masked up. Okay, got everything masked. Uh, that actually took quite a while, longer than I thought it would. Uh, we got some plastic draped over the top of the cab and on the front here. Got a couple of magnets holding it on and some tape here and there. I just don't want that clear to settle down. The black I'm not too worried about. It really doesn't float around, but that clear stays sticky in the air for quite a while. So that's freshly sanded surface. I don't want to have to go back and you know redo that or clean it or whatever. So just taking a little bit of time to protect it. The interior is looking really good. We got all the windows masked off, everything we want to do. And you saw me in the time lapse uh, where I just kind of tape the paper up there and then take a Sharpie from the back side and then take scissors and just cut out that shape. Then just put your masking tape on so the sticky side is facing in and then reach from the other side and just stick it to it. It, uh, it works pretty good. It's not foolproof, but it gets you a lot closer and it's a little quicker. So that's all done. We've got to come in here with some scotch pipe pad. Got a little bit of black to, to scuff when I sprayed that semi-gloss or that satin around here. And then you can see where these uh, vents are. The louvers are right on the other side. I put some paper in there. I don't, uh, don't want any blowback or certainly don't want any color or clear shooting through those louvers and getting on the exterior. Same thing over there. 
So we just got a little bit of scotch Bright pad to do, then we're going to blow this thing off and tack it and mix up some black and start spraying. Okay, I got everything uh, scuffed I wanted to. I blew it off really well and when I was blown off, uh, kind of exposed some paper and uh, plastic blowing around a little bit more than I want. You don't want that stuff flapping around when you're painting. It just throws dust up in the air. So uh, I, I had a roll of masking tape that I always keep on hand when I'm painting, which is a good tip for you guys. Keep that roll handy because you never know when you're painting. I don't care if you're on your base coat or clear coat or whatever. Uh, something could come loose and start blowing around or you may need to retape something. So just keep it handy so you can just grab it, tape it, and get right back to what you're doing. So I, I've got everything blown off, tacked off. It's, uh, it's looking really good on the inside. It's a little dark in there, uh, obviously, for obvious reasons. So I've got these lights uh, pointed through the uh, paper here and the plastic to help illuminate a little bit. Plus, I have my uh, small light that I check all the time when I'm painting just to make sure that I've got good coverage. So uh, the gun is loaded. Uh, the little starting line gun is loaded with about half a pot. Uh, that way when I'm spraying up underneath, uh, I don't have to worry about it running back out of the breather hole. And then, uh, so well, I'm going to get all the hard to reach spots first, and then, uh, then we'll move on to start getting some of the field and get that knocked out. So let me grab the gun, my respirator, put my hat on. I'll move the camera around and be back a little bit. It's hard to show, you know, inside the cab what I'm doing, but I'll do the best I can. We'll get this uh, base coat sprayed, we're going to let it dry, and then we'll mix up some clear and get this thing cleared. Okay, I'm sitting here while I'm editing, uh, watching myself spray this, thinking, why did I seal up those back windows? Uh, I should have just masked the back of the cab and left those open for better ventilation and more light, and then I could have filmed it a lot easier. So uh, I screwed up on that one. I could have just masked the back of the cab uh, through the plastic over the top like I did, and uh, it would have worked just out, just actually way better. I could have saw what I was doing better. Um, the vapor could have left the cab a lot easier. It would have just been easier all the way around. So uh, maybe next time. Okay, I got one coat on everything. I think I've got everything covered pretty well. I already took my little flashlight in there and looked around. There's a few blotchy spots. And once it flashes off, I'll go back with the gun and I'll just hit any bad areas that I didn't get good good enough coverage before I go to do my second coat so I'm laying down an even coat over everything and then I'll check it again and I'll keep checking and to make sure I got good coverage with base coat you only need to get you know even coverage and make sure it's all the same color and that's it and then you stop so uh, it's going pretty well kind of hard to get back up inside there uh, I've got the swivel on the little gun here and it'd be nice to use a little bit bigger gun, but I, I have to get into those little tight areas. You saw me crawling down inside there, bending over backwards and all that. Um, you know, these are tough to spray inside here. Uh, I'm spraying a lot of it. It's not like I can crawl in there and do it without touching some other spot. So I've got swivel on here. I got this from Harbor Freight. Uh, they're very not, not very expensive. So it swivels this way so the hose doesn't get all coiled up. And then it swivels this way so you can really bend that hose back on itself and uh, get like a little gun like this in a really tight area like on the back side of that uh, dash where I was trying to get that lip. So um, consider getting one, really come in handy, worth the money that's for sure. So I got one good coat on everything, we're going to let it flash off, I'm going to go back with the flashlight. If there's any areas that are 
super blotchy. I'll go back with the gun and I'll just kind of spot those in. Then we'll let it all flash off and then I'll go over the whole thing again with a full medium coat just to get everything covered really well. Then I'll go back with the light and I'll check and make sure I haven't uh, you know, missed any spots. And if I have, I'll kind of hit those. And that's the beauty of base coat. With a solid color like this, you can just you know, touch those in. Uh, if it was a metallic or some other difficult color, you'd have to do a control coat over the whole thing. But with solid color, it's super easy. So I'm gonna let this flash off, get some more coats on it. I'm not gonna film that. I'll bring it back once, uh, once air is cleared and uh, we'll take a look at how it looks. Okay, all done. It's uh, completely flashed off. We're ready to spray some clear. I've already uh, blown it off and uh, tacked it off, blown it off again. So it's ready to go. I got the clear mixed up. It's, uh, I got about eight ounces of clear ready to go. So I'm gonna just double check it real quick, make sure we're good to go. And then, uh, then we'll spray some clear on this thing. Okay, all done spraying, gun is clean. I don't know how much I could show you. I don't want to get in there too far, the clear is still wet. But looks good. Kind of a pain in the butt to spray up inside here, but uh, glad to get it done. Okay, that wraps up this project for today. Don't forget to send me what you guys are up to. Send me three or four pics. I'll put my email in the description below. Love posting those at the end of the videos. So we got, uh, got the whole inside of the cab masked and uh, got the base coat on, the black, and two coats of clear. So it's all done on the interior. I'm glad to get, get this step done. Um, we're gonna let this dry quite a bit before I move on to the exterior, but uh, I'm really happy to get this done. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.